Oh shit. Three-quarters of the way up, this is Cal Tire. So they do the tire changes on the trucks, pickups, whatever it needs. About 20 minutes, half an hour to change the tire on one of those big trucks right there. Background, you can see what it's like where we work, the mountains. Basically what it is. There again. Pickups. Truck. That one there is just the process of getting the tire changed on the other side. And from here, if we go up, we should be able to see where all the computers are. That's what we call the Eagle's Nest up there. Where all the dispatches. Carry on into the pit now. Well, this is a road into the pit, one way into it. That's what they call the marmots slot. The crater there knocking some snow off. You can see the hills. Yep. It's an overall picture of what we've dug out so far. We're up quite a ways, and you can see the truck down there. This is all mined out area. Goes all the way around. Back down. One of the excavators is hydraulic electric shovel. D-mag, what they call. Down right now. And then we got a truck waiting. Down in the hole there, there's a shovel digging. We'll get a closer picture of it later. You can see the banks here. Those cuts are about 60 feet each, 60 to 65 feet. Then you go down this way, and they haul over there to the dump. And that's right off the edge of the mountain there. Dumps it over the edge. This is where I took that last little bit of movie from. That's where we were up, right up at that switch here. Electrical thing give you an idea of how big it is actually. all the vans up, equipment. This is what the guy does when there's uh, nothing to do. See? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got a smile. <laughs> okay, now that he's awake and aware, we'll carry on. One of our smallest shovels on the plane. Oh, the truck here right now. That's uh, 190 pounds of buckle.
digging in here. It's just big old road digging it out again. Mags sitting idle there, it's broke down. That bank is oh, probably 15, 12, 15 feet high, it sits on top. If we get enough, close enough here, we'll be able to see, see him sitting in there. Yeah, there he is. So that's fairly big tackle, electric. Uh, we have about four of these on the claim now. They're down most of the time. Hydraulic problems usually. There's Curtis there. One guy's worked with me. This is the size of some of the loaders we have up here. The L1000 internal. Easy. Get stuff that's pushed down to for a little easier dig and haul and pull and stuff. This over here, push it up. That's the D11. Pushes down the rock. Takes the rock off the pole, separates it. Nice size cap. Shovels that are some of the biggest shovels we got on the claim, 2800s. Fortunately, they're both down at the moment. This one here is a broken track on the other side. The other one there, down for a shaft, a propel shaft. Get a little closer picture of the bucket just to show you how big they actually are. Picture of the bucket. These are 34 yard. Coal bucket. There's Curtis. This guy's six foot two. Let's see how tall it is in the bucket there. Pretty good size. Shovel. The operator still weak. The shovel. He's up there. Let's see if we can get a little picture of him. Oh yeah, he's hard at. No, no doubt uh, reading a manual for the shovel or something. Track that's broken. Teeth and adapters there is about two thousand dollars a piece. This is what it looks like just after they finish blasting, before they get anything in there to start digging or anything. Blast it up pretty good. It's just showing you how much it heats up from level ground. Just to give a little example, there's a haul truck. Coming down. Take up. Lifts it up pretty good. This is a little hole here where they're digging after coal for the last eight, nine months. Just about done there now. Got a big shovel down there. It's just showing you how far down it is. It's a big hole. 
probably go after the core. We'll go down below and show you one of the big shovels digging. Again, this is one of the dumps they dump over. This is one of our major dumps on the whole mine site here, called the 1480. See a truck dump in there, maybe? Yeah, there he is, right there. It's one of those 190s. Move to this, watch him dump over the edge. Well, it looks like he's dumping it short. They have a cat and he dumps it right over the edge and it goes down into the valley, which is considerably long ways down. I want to see a wide angle view of it. It's about, oh, probably 1480 meters from that truck down to the bottom. Some of the other stuff, that's Mesa, Marmot area that way. That's just a picture of some of the mountain. And on the other side over here is what they call the Wolverine. The smaller end of the pit, or the mine I mean. There's a dump there. And this area up in here used to be the 1660 dump, what they called quite a while ago. Right in through there. And it let go here a couple of years back. And then all the muck went down into the valley. Ran all the way down. Way down in the background there is where the train runs through. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the train goes through. Hauls the coal out. Wapco loaded and full of coal coming up. This is one of the higher parts of the mine here. When the first pit started was what we call this deputy pit here. This used to be level. From down from that road right across that crusher. They dug for about oh, a year and a half and they dug that hole. Now it's done. It's starting to fill it back in some of the crushers and stuff. That's where we were down there before. Way over there is the eagle's nest. Yeah. That right there is where they haul the coal to. And that ships it down the belt to the plant site. It's what they call the boneyard here. This is where they put equipment that's been uh, decommissioned, I guess they can call it. That cat there, it's about a year old. Park it on the hill, D10M, greater, 16G. Uh, this is one of the D-mags that's left. <laughs> Just show you what size they are. That's what's left of it, tracks frame has gone off of it. This was one of the only ones that was not electric, it was diesel. Booms off of it. There's some of the booms and stuff like that. There's an old backhoe and a bunch of buckets back there and stuff. Park it up here and let the wind howl at it, I guess. This is one of the highest places on the mine. This is where it all started. That's where we first started filling, down in Marmot. It was all the way around. There's the 
anymore. This at one time was all level from where I am across to all the top of those mountains. Right from there to about where I am is level, or was level. All this has been dug out for the past 10 years. This is taken from the, the nest, called the youth nest. That's the breaker there, where they separate some of the rock out of the coal. And then it's shipped down. It's called the C1 drive. It's down there. Then it goes down. There's the belt that takes it down 14 kilometers. Now the plant site. You can see it from here. I doubt it, but see some smoke of it anyway. That's the conveyor belt. going down back to the McConkie and the road home. And if you look, that's where we were before. A little boneyard. 